Paleocene is the next track. It's the first track of the Cenozoic half of the record. And um, this is our fourth collaboration with Thomas Liljedal, the former vocalist of Breach, who were, as most of you guys will probably know by now, uh, one of the most influential and important bands for me. They were an amazing band. They, they played what people refer to nowadays as post-metal long before that term ever existed, basically. And Thomas also wrote the lyrics of that song and it's consequentially a song about getting back up on your feet after a personal disaster, after a big blow, um, after the asteroid struck, metaphorically speaking. Um, the first three words in the lyrics are broken bones onward. And that pretty much sums up what this song is all about. And musically speaking, it's a bit of a homage to Breach, those dark minor, like almost black metalish chord progressions, um, and uh, at the same time driven by the the upbeat fury and anger of punk rock and hardcore. This is what kind of makes up the essence of that track. Eocene is um, based on one of the guitar patterns from Jurassic and wasn't really supposed to be on the album, I think. It was kind of like just the idea of using the same melody again somehow. Um, so we were just playing around a little in the rehearsal room and Robin was playing this, uh, this pattern over and over again and then at some point I got a little bit bored and just started playing around with odd, uh, odd meters and odd patterns and started playing, uh, I think it's a 5-8 beat that I'm playing over that, that uh, guitar pattern. And it didn't really fit, but it kind of fit. And at first I was like, dude, focus. <laughs> because he loves to do that, to go astray. But here it really worked and it really put the whole part into a totally different context. And um, we couldn't fit it into the song, so we decided to try and build something completely new from it. Yeah, then throughout the whole, uh, the whole writing process, the song evolved into what it is now, um, with Robin adding more guitars, more layers, um, the bass lines coming in, synths, and then uh, Loic's very, very fantastic uh, vocal lines. So we were basically on the road the whole year and we didn't have time to finish the recordings. And that uh, led to the situation that we started this Leprous tour and uh, still had a bunch of tracks that we had no bass recorded for. <laughs> so we had to track bass on tour. But uh, eventually we, we found a very nice, a nice studio in one of, one of the venues we played. And uh, Robin and Matthias took the time and got the chance to record bass for this track as well. So Oligocene is the turning point of the album. Um, it's an instrumental track I wrote back in 2017. That was basically the, the first track I wrote for this band. And I uh, was kind of just playing around with, with Ableton and with synthesizers and pedals. And uh, yeah, uh, it was the first track I showed to Robin and he really dug it from the, from the very beginning. It's a transitional track in the whole of the record. It basically helps to lead from the quite heavy Mesozoic first half of the record um, and early Cenozoic into the more spaced out, more minimalist second half. And in that way, it compares a little bit to 
um, the end of boundless vests and signals of anxiety on Pelagial that was also transitional tracks that inaugurate the second half of the record. And uh, the function of, of those tracks was kind of comparable to uh, the function of Oligocene in the context of Phenerozoic II. It almost didn't end up on the album because it, in, initially it didn't really fit the vibe we were looking for. And uh, so it ended up on my hard drive. Um, but then when we were trying to glue everything together, we uh, were looking for this missing piece somehow um, to uh, welcome the, the second half of the album. After the very intense beginning, um, Jurassic and uh, Triassic, etc., which really needs a lot of attention and gives you a lot of information. This is basically the, the first song to, to grasp for air and uh, calm down a little bit and get ready for the second half.